hello welcome back to my channel um if you're new to this channel please kindly subscribe to this channel and uh, thank you for watching um this morning i came to make this video this morning with um i say morning because this morning where i am and uh, by the way good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your um time zone wherever you're watching this video from um i woke up this morning with this sudden with this news this sad news of the death of one of again one of our beloved um veteran actresses in nigeria in the person of ade ada ame um, this ade ame um her, her picture is um up here ade ame is one of those um i, I mean I, I honestly speaking like one of these people that you see on screen that you feel like you know them personally um she is a, an actress and i love her more for her comedy because i think that most times when she acts those, those parts that she is for i mean she is she's very good in what she does she's a veteran actress and um recently i think that was like a year or two ago she lost her only child this lady was actually a teenage mom you know she was actually a teenage mom she had her child when she was pretty young maybe in her teens 14 15 i'm not exactly very sure and uh, she was a single mother took care of this child trained this child and you know and i think that child that's her daughter died at, in her 30s after like a and after like um a medical procedure you know it was really sad and you know what really made me very sad when i heard the news of this um this lady's passing is um you know sometimes in life you 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 see people go through some things and you are praying so hard that you know from somewhere somehow they will get a new lease of life and have reason to smile and to laugh again irrespective of what you know they've gone through but you know that is why the the, the person of this lady really hit me so hard when i heard it this early this morning and uh and it, it really broke my heart because since after the the demise of her uh, of her daughter you know she's been of course expectedly one would i mean there's no doubt that this woman must have gone through a lot emotionally she has really really gone through a lot you know I, I, there's no doubt in my mind I, there's no doubt in my heart that she has uh, that she, i mean she must have gone through a lot honestly and i've seen that you know one or two occasions you know i see online where uh, people try to um, they, I, I remember one time that i said i think that was her bread or something and i said so and um, this is our, one of the um, actress who happens to be my neighbor my namesake in nigeria you know empress in jama you know I, I they are really very close who came to you know kind of i believe they've been doing a lot of things to try to cheer this lady up and i mean that was a wonderful thing seeing that people are you know actually running running around her trying to make sure that she's okay and when you see things like that for me all i was praying was that at least irrespective of everything that's happened to her that you know she will eventually see a light even in that dark tunnel you know if you understand what i mean that something you know will still she will still have reason to be happy again and enjoy life again and you know get a little bit of lease of life i know there's no way i don't believe there's anything that will ever make her forget the pains of losing that child because first of all that is her only child she literally grew up with this child if you know what i mean because she was a teen mother you know they grew up with this her daughter and suddenly the the, the daughter just passed like that you can imagine what she has gone through but then it, 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 you i mean i was expecting that you know for people like that when people go through things like that that somehow 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 things will happen would change for better for them and they will have you know have reason to laugh again and then sometime a few months ago there was a time she came on social media again she was you know lamenting of her going through mental health and everything and honestly i still do not believe her i still do not believe not that i'm sorry that i think i that was the wrong word i still did not um <laughs> blame her that was that's what i would what i was trying you looking for i'm sorry blame her because a, a lot of us in Nigeria, we don't believe that mental health is real. It, let me tell us something. Before I came, before I left the shores of Nigeria, when I hear the word mental health, I used to have, you know, this mental, this idea of, you know, all these um, people who are not okay, that works on the street, that picks food from 
the trash and stuff like that until I came to I, well, I came to the Western world and I not just coming I went into the uh, the medical pro the medical profession and one of my classes when I was treating the 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 topic when I was taking the class on mental health that was when I actually had a broader a better understanding of what mental health is all about in fact during that period I think there was one of the classes we were taking and I eventually had to tell myself that at some point I may have gone through mental health also you know because I realized that mental health is much much bigger broader than what we think it is or what we we grew up thinking it, it, it is because I remember there was a time I had a tragic experience you know that was precisely 2015 that I lost two sisters in you know within a space of two months I knew what I went through then and having when I was going through the mental health class I was like oh yeah that because I knew ex ex the experiences I had then and it made me to believe that at some at that point I may have suffered some some kind of mental health and mental breakdown if you know what I mean because like I said a lot of people don't believe especially now part of the world where we came from that mental health is real and this lady honestly speaking when she was lamenting about this her mental health you know that she had a mental health she was given some job but she didn't do it and people are seeing her stuff like that I really felt it really broke my heart and I felt like honestly when I saw that video when she made that video I was feeling within me I was even telling a friend then I said I wish there was a way you know i could help this lady or maybe people could just understand what this lady is going through and having heard the, the news of her death and her death you know it makes me now to begin to understand and maybe to think that and the way that it was announced from what i get from her her person is that i think she slumped and then maybe they try to rescue her something and eventually she passed and one thing else i want to make in this video is the idea of when people go through things like that when people go through depression I hope most of us don't understand that there's a correlation there's a relationship between mental health depression anxiety and not and and um, and cardiac issue a lot of people don't understand when people go through um situations like mental health you know with with results to that uh, that as, as a result of stress um um depression or ptsd that is a post traumatic um situation like when people had something tragic that happened to them that causes them to have this mental breakdown and sometimes most times we don't understand that there is a relationship there's a correlation there's a connection between mental health and actual and um, cardiac problem because when people go through such things and when people are depressed you know you find out that their 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 cardiac activity that is the heart activity is is much much faster is much much works you know abnormally because this person is prone to a lot of thinking is prone to a lot of um, um depression is prone to a lot of you know a lot of things i, I don't want to use a lot too much of uh, medical um medical words here so that people will understand what i'm saying but in a, in a in a layman's language what i'm trying to say is that there's a correlation between um having trauma having you know tragic experience happen to you there's a relationship when people go through such things there is possibility that they would develop cardiac issues they, they would develop heart issues which is as a result of you know the heart working more than it's because that person is thinking look let me sell out something it's okay people will gather around you laugh with you but when they leave you're all alone in your bedroom you know a lot of things a lot of thoughts a lot of memories and things like that could bring depression anxiety stress and can also result in having you know abnormal heart activities and which can eventually result in high blood pressure and you know the situations you know the heart going out of control and the abnormal heart rate and when things like that happen it can also you know somehow cause the blood a uh, flow to the to the brain not to function the way it ought to function you know i'm not saying that is what happened to and uh, that but i'm not it's, it's not so far-fetched for us to say that somebody who went through what she went through and somebody who is still in the state of mind where this lady is that there is possibility that a lot of things might have happened to her heart <clears throat> even without her knowing it or maybe without people around her knowing it and for somebody who suddenly slumps and i mean and we're talking about the person not being here anymore 
there's a possibility that it's something that has to do with the heart and things like that are things that people need to monitor and what am i well the <clears throat> bottom line of what i'm saying here is this this is maybe like an awakening for us to understand that if you are around somebody who went who went through a traumatic experience please um why we are trying to make them share them up to make them feel happy it's important for us to help them also to you know guide against their heart health you know by either going to the doctor to have more periodic checking of them because you never can tell what may be going on because that that depression that sadness we see that that person is feeling at that time it's not just something that is in the outside if it affects the entire system and when it affects the entire system that is what could cause probably something like like i said i'm not saying that is exactly what happened to other but then uh, if, uh, if there's there's a relationship there's a correlation there's Yes, they, you can connect one to the other, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's so sad. I just want to, you know, join my voice with the voice of everyone else to say, you know, that it is so sad that we're talking about the loss of this lady at this, at this time. It really broke my heart. It, it breaks my heart so much because I was, like I said, I was praying. So I see her video that this woman will have, you know, something will make her smile again, laugh again. But to think that at this point, it has gotten to this level that we, we are talking about mourning her. It's really sad. And my condolences goes to her family and everyone that is closely connected to her, related to her, you know. It, it, it's really sad that she has to go, she had, it had to end this way, you know, with everything that she has gone through. But then, bottom line, my beloved, once as you're watching this video, please understand that there is a relationship there's a correlation between